I have a blue tongue because I just drank a blue Powerade. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So first up, let's address this. This is why you don't pick at blemishes on your face. I know I went a little bit overboard with popping a pimple and now I have a giant scab on my forehead. But that aside, today we're going to be testing our Wet n Wild makeup. I just bought a whole bunch of Wet n Wild makeup from America. I did buy it off their American website but I do believe if you are in Australia you can get it off Glam Radar or at least some of the stuff. Anyway, so I thought it would be fun to sit down and try out everything I bought on camera. We can experience it together. Also, how do I sound? Do I sound any different? I moved my microphone closer to my face. Okay, anyway, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you guys like this video. Now let's test some Wet n Wild makeup. So I picked up three, ooh, three different eyeshadow palettes. I've got Nude Awakening, Not A Basic Peach, uh, silent treatment. I really love the colors in Not A Basic Peach. So I think I'm gonna use this palette. I've already primed my eyes with my Tarte Shape Tape. I did pick up a eye primer, but I'm pretty sure this is like one of those clear eye primers. So clear eye primers don't really work with me because I have a lot of discoloration on my eyelids. So I'm gonna give this away. Okay, so starting off with this palette, I feel like this transition shade is lighter than my eyes. So instead we're gonna use this transition shade. Or do I wanna use the orange? Actually, let's use the orange first. So I'm just gonna blend this into my crease. Oh wow, that has really decent pigmentation. I need a sneeze and it's gone. It was a fake sneeze. Okay, so I was not expecting a drugstore brand to have such a good quality eyeshadow. Hopefully they're all like this. So I'm just gonna grab a smaller brush and go in with that transition shade. Work this into my crease as well. Oh my God, guys, look at that. I'm also gonna drag this color down to the outer corner of my eye. Thinking of going for like some sunset vibes. So I'm just gonna grab a flat shader brush and it's like golden peachy shade. And I'm just gonna pat this on. Oh, it's very glittery, this shade. I, think I might just use my finger a bit for that. It's very beautiful though. It does have some quite intense fallout from the glitter. But I really do like that. Now I'm just gonna grab this gold shade and I'm just gonna put this on the inner corner of my eye. And I'm just gonna go black and I'm just gonna go back in with that blending brush with this really dark matte brown and just really define the out of V. Ooh, not too dark. Wow, these eyeshadows are really blendable. These eyeshadows are really good quality. I am shocked, guys. Oh my gosh, guys, I am so happy with that eyeshadow. Like this is like something I would expect from like a Too Faced palette, but I think this is like $12 if that. Sorry, my arm's itchy. Okay, so I'm gonna leave my eyeshadow for now and we'll come back and finish off that later. Now I'm gonna grab a liquid eyeliner. Ugh, that Powerade's coming back up. So this is the Wet n Wild Proline Felt Tip Eyeliner. Hopefully I don't ruin our eyeshadow. <laughs> I'm really happy with it. Uh, so I'm just gonna line my top lash line with this. I'm liking this. It's a really black black. Comes out really easily. So if you guys can't see me, my mirror's like, yeah, let me move things over. Oop, I stuffed up that end a bit, but I really like this. I'd probably pick the Maybelline Master Precise over this just because I prefer the like end better. But if you don't have an issue with felt tip ends, this is actually quite amazing. Now for mascara, I picked up the Mega Slim Skinny Mascara Waterproof Hydro Fudge. Not sure what the fudge bit's about. Oh, it's so skinny. Okay, let's try out this mascara. Wow, this wand is really good at getting close to your lash line. Formula-wise though, uh, I'm not loving it. I feel like it doesn't really do much for my lashes. I do like the wand though. <laughs> we'll clean that up soon. So I'm gonna quickly jump off camera and put on some false lashes. My eyelashes are looking a bit non-existent right now. So I'll be right back. Okay, so my lashes are on. I also cleaned up the fallout and that mascara smudge on my face. Now we can do our base. So I don't think I have a face primer. What's this? No, that's setting spray. Okay, no face primer. So I'm just gonna go straight in with foundation. This is the Photo Focus foundation in Golden Beige. I had to pick this off the internet. I'm not sure if it's gonna match me. 
it looks pretty good like in the bottle we'll see how it goes oh my god does this not have a pump oh it's got a spatula thing i don't really like the spatula things but no oh well better than nothing oh my this foundation literally smells like paint what the fudge Hopefully that goes away. That's probably enough. It feels very runny, this foundation, and I am not enjoying the smell. Ooh, I'm liking it blended out though. And that color, if it doesn't change when it dries, it's like the perfect color for me. Good work, cat. I know my face is paler than the rest of me, but that's because fake tan always wears off my face really quickly, and I always wear sunscreen on my face. Let's see how it goes covering my scab. I'd say it's got a light to medium coverage. Might just add a little bit more. Okay, so, so far I'm liking the foundation. Blends out really nicely. Not enjoying the smell though, but it is fading. We'll see how it goes throughout the rest of this video. Now I'm gonna take the Photo Focus Concealer. I don't know what shade this is, light, medium, beige. I feel like this is pretty dark. So we're gonna see how this goes to highlight my face. I feel like the applicator picks up hardly any product. So I'm just gonna put some under my eyes and maybe just on the scab. And I'm just gonna blend that out with my Beauty Blender. That blends out really nicely. And it is actually a pretty good shade. I always struggle to pick shades on the internet when I don't have like a reference. Okay, so far I'm really liking that concealer to hide my dark circles and highlight under my eyes. Not very good at concealing scabs though. <laughs> but then again, not many concealers are. I'd say it's got high coverage. So far, there's no creasing. It blends out super nicely, super smooth, super flawless. Uh, now I'm gonna set that with some powders. I've got two powders. They're both the Wet n Wild Focused Pressed Powder. I've got the shade Warm Light and Warm Beige. So I'm just gonna take a bit of Warm Light. This does look very light. I'm gonna use this to set the concealer. I feel like that hasn't really changed the color at all. Like I feel like I could apply this to the rest of my face and the foundation would still be the same color. But I do think it has set that concealer quite nicely. Now I'm going to set, oh, I should not close things in front of the microphone. That was probably very loud for you. I'm sorry. So now I'm going to take a warm beige and set the rest of my face. And there's a hair tickling my nose. Yeah, that was a decent powder. I would purchase that again. Now for bronzer, I have the Mega Glow Contouring Palette. It also has a highlighting powder in there, but I feel like just adding more powder under my eyes is gonna make it look really dry and gross. I'm only gonna use this contour shade. It looks very warm tone. So I'm gonna use it to bronze up my face instead of contour. We'll see how this goes. Oh, there's a lot of kick up, okay. I feel like it's a tiny bit patchy on me. Wow, that looks really dark on camera. It blends out pretty well, but I feel like it's not like the cleanest blend. I do think it's a bit patchy and you can definitely tell I've got bronzer on instead of just having like a really good bronze skin. Okay, so the bronzer is not bad, but it's not my favorite. It's very pigmented, so you need to like definitely tap your brush a few times. Okay, next up is blush. Oh, so I have two blushes. I have this ombre blush and the color icon blush. Let's try the ombre one. Just gonna swirl my brush in there. I'm gonna stick to the more darker end. And let's just feel like not a whole lot is happening. Okay, I'm gonna switch to the color icon blush. So this is the shade Apricot in the middle. Ah, oh, I get it because it's Apricot in the middle. Got it. <laughs> Took me a minute there. It does have like sparkly glitter bits in the pan. Okay, good. They don't seem to show up on the face though. It's an all right blush. I feel like this shade isn't usually something I reach for. And it's a bit shimmery, but not like a nice sheen shimmery. It's like glittery. So it's not really my cup of tea. So for highlight, this is probably the thing I'm most excited to try. I actually know the eyeshadow palettes were. This is the Mega Glow Highlighter in Precious Pearls. Look at how beautiful that looks. Going to apply some to my cheekbones. It's very glittery. I thought it was going to be more of a sheen, but I can see a lot of texture on there. I do still like it. Let me just whoop, drop that. Let me just blend that out a bit. Okay, it looks better once I like blend it in with the blush and bronzer. Next up, we're going to finish off the eyes. I'm feeling this blue color. So I'm going to grab a pencil brush and this blue. I'm just going to smudge this onto my lower lash line. 
And I'm just gonna grab this highlight shade right up here and just pop that right on the inner corner of my eye just to brighten things off a bit. Oh, I have an eye goober. That's kind of gross. Just gonna add some mascara to my lower lashes. This brush is really handy for your lower lashes. So next up is eyebrows. I have this. This is the retractable brow pencil in ash brown. I like that it's got a spoolie. Let's just brush our eyebrows a bit. This has got one of those like triangle tips. I suck at triangle tips. I don't know why. I always need that really precise little tip. So we'll see how this goes. It's a very waxy feeling formula. Just good for those natural looking brows. I do actually like the formula of this pencil. Um, so I don't have a brow setting gel. I can't really remember if they had one on the website, but if they did, I didn't get it. So I'm just gonna set my brows with my Benefit brow setting gel. Okay, so slight problem. I know 100% that I bought a lipstick. I can't find it. I did just declutter my lipsticks, but I am 100% sure that I kept it for this video, but I don't know where it is. Damn it, and I thought that this was a, a lip gloss, but it's a liquid eyeshadow. Maybe I can just add a bit of this to my inner corners. Oh, that's so pretty. Uh, so I need to find a lip product from Wet n Wild. If you were my Wet n Wild lipstick, where would I put you? Oh my God, guys, I found them. And I also bumped my camera, so I don't know if I'm in the center. Uh, so I have two, one is matte, one is shimmer, one is in the flesh, and the other is breeze. I think we're gonna go with in the flesh. I also have a lip liner, gel lip liner in bear to comment. My lips are mega dry right now, but I'm gonna line my lips. That just glided on, oh my gosh. This is a pretty nice natural looking color as well. Uh, I did go a little bit overboard. My hand did slip a little bit. So just going for the overlined look today. Mm, I don't really like this shade with this eye look. My lips are so dry, oh my gosh. But that is a really nice lipstick, especially because I feel like these were under $5. Uh, super pigmented. It did highlight every single dry patch on my lips, but they are extremely dry right now. I need to drink some water. Oh, and it's on my teeth. Okay, I'm gonna add some shimmer on the top. Let's see what happens. I like that. I like that a lot. So here we have the finished look. I'm actually really, really happy with it. Let's do like a little recap of everything. I feel like I found some really good products today, guys. Okay, so first up, in freaking love with this eyeshadow palette. The blue could have been a little bit more pigmented, but every other shade that I used was freaking amazing. I would 110% recommend this palette. Eyeliner was really, really good as well. It does have a felt tip though, so keep that in mind if you're like me and struggle with felt tips. Mascara was a bit eh. I do like the brush, but the formula, oops. The formula I would pass on. Brow pencil, yes, loved this. The ombre blush, I feel like nothing showed up on my cheeks, so I would pass on this. And the color iconic blush was all right, but it's not really my favorite. Maybe if I had a different color. I do quite like the highlighter once you blend it out. It's not as smooth as my high-end highlighters, but for drugstore, it was pretty amazing. The foundation smells absolutely horrendous. It literally smells like acrylic paint. But the actual formula, I'm really liking it and it's holding up quite well. My nose is running. It is creasing a little bit in this smile line, which every foundation seems to do. But other than that, it is holding up really well. Where'd the concealer go? Hello? How do I lose everything? The concealer, which I can't find right now, is actually doing an amazing job. It's not creasing, it's covered my dark circles. I really like it. For blemishes though, I'm not really sure how it would go. It's not working quite well with texture on my skin, like my little scab. But for highlighting your face and covering dark circles, it's working really well. The contouring palette, I would not use this to contour, but for a bronzer, it is quite nice. It can be a bit patchy if there's any sort of like moisture on your face but I do quite like it. The powders I really enjoyed as well. Lip liner, really enjoyed. Lipsticks I quite like as well. This liquid catsuit thing I like as like a topper. I probably wouldn't use this as like the only thing on my eye though. Okay, I'm gonna try this. That's not in English. Natural finish setting spray. Please don't ruin my makeup. Oh no, no, it was a big, big blobs. Ah. Okay, it seemed to have gotten in my hair and not my face, <laughs> luckily. Stuff kind of smells like hairspray. I like it. It's done a good job of like melting everything in. 
It smells a bit weird though. So I think that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't yet. Leave me a comment, let me know what your thoughts on Wet n Wild are and what brand I should try next. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys!